Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, Miss Criticizer 2021. 90 Day Fiance Season 9, Episode 6, yeah? Biniam and Ari. Now the episode starts with Biniam waking up early in the morning in Princeton, New Jersey. Ari made him a cup of coffee, American coffee. And so he tasted it, he's like, oh, this is water. Because if some of you don't know, Ethiopia is very known for its coffee. They have their own coffee. They, it's, it, there's a strong coffee culture in Ethiopia, similar to Italy. You know? And I've tasted Ethiopian coffee. I love it very, very much. One of the best coffee ever. Everybody with their taste. So she takes him out to see the neighborhood, to see the area, to see where she grew up to see her culture, emphasis every single time on her Jewish culture and why they're tough, why they're straight to the point, blah blah blah. Basically bragging this entire episode. Yes, I will get to it. And um, so she, she just takes him out about and uh, she took him to this um, bagel shop. She said, do you like the food? everything blah 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 they were so as they were talking they were just talking about they were just talking about like how things will be in the US how they will plan um, things because she said that you know my parents signed this one year lease but other finances it needs to come from our own pocket like the utilities and other things and we need to discuss how we should move forward from it and he said I want to be an MMA fighter, like I'm in the US, I want to explore my options. And she's like, that's cool and nice and all that, but those MMA fighters, yeah, they invest money in their careers. It's not free of charge. You pay for training, you pay for agents, you pay for everything. And then the money that you make from it, it's almost nothing. So she asked, is that a good idea? And I agree with her on that. Yeah, I think people when they go to a country, they don't know better. They just have all these dreams, which is good and nice. But they need instant cash. <clears throat> you need to do any kind of work just so that there's income. Even if it means working in McDonald's. That's how it always is, you know, immigrant story. People, whenever they go to a new country... They always do menial jobs because you need any job that's available. Even sometimes your qualification from that country, I've seen it firsthand with my own hands, with my own eyes. Your qualification, for example, from Africa, you were an accountant or anything. They don't consider that when you travel abroad. And then you have to start all the way from, you have to start all the way from square one. You have to do all these menial jobs, security, cleaner, and you name it. And then while you do those jobs, you study what you really want to do on the side. People study, they do courses, and then um, while you're working, you're working to pay the bills. And then when you're comfortable enough, you've saved money for your training and everything, then there's where you dive in into your passion and what you really want to do. And that's what we have to say. You have to be realistic about it so I kind of agree with what she said about it and so she's just nervous and I'm like Ari you're so lucky you're still nervous you're lucky that your parents got to pay a year lease on that property she's just fortunate and she's still complaining she's such a spoiled brat seriously anyway she's an only child I'm not going to blame her for that anyway so <clears throat> she showed him in Princeton and he said damn this if that's the case then this is an expensive area like maybe we can move to like a cheaper area also maybe with a one bedroom like we need to manage and downsize and she said well still you know we, we, we just need to figure it out so the next scene they finally go to New York he's so ecstatic he can't wait he's hyped the New York that he has seen on TV, everywhere, he finally gets to go there. And they got there, they were happy, like they just showed everything. When they went to the park, 
He said, oh, this is a water fountain. He said, oh, wow, it's a water fountain. And I think it's, let me say something. This is not the first time that Biniam has been to the U.S. Yeah? Why is he acting like, oh, my God, wow, this, that, that. This is not the first time you've been to the U.S. Or did you stay at a very rural part in the States? I don't know about that. Anyway, so... <clears throat> Ari is just bragging at this point. She said, yeah, we have this, we have water fountain. Look at this. Look at how developed it is. Look at it. She's not saying that literally, but I know what she's trying to say. She's comparing and saying that, yeah, you know, in Ethiopia, this, this, that, that. She said, look at this. Look, look at where we're living. She's just using against him. And I'm like, girl, were you not the first person on the first season of The Other Way? <clears throat> you were saying to your friends when you were pregnant you were saying to your friends yeah I'm moving to Ethiopia I can't wait and your friend said can you not stay in the US can you not bring him here she said no 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 I love Ethiopia Ethiopia is good for me they have everything they have what I need I love Ethiopia it's the best place ever even when her parents visited she said no the healthcare is good everything is good oh everything is good and then the struggle that she went through now before she's complaining oh my god and that's not to say that Ethiopia is not beautiful. Ethiopia is a beautiful country. It's nice. Addis Ababa is a nice capital. It's very nice. But the mistake that many people do, especially when maybe you visit Africa, when you visit Africa, you need, you need to save and plan very well. If you don't plan well, huh, you will be struggling. You will be struggling. If you don't plan to stay, if you don't plan your visit and your stay in Africa, and you don't have like a business plan in mind because you need to be doing something there to generate income girl you're going to suffer they were talking and as they were talking they were having dinner so as they were talking he was just asking her a simple question oh honey don't you think it would be best if we consider moving to new york and she said, that seems all fun and games, but New York is expensive. And that's the thing. It's not only Biniyam, but almost all the foreign lovers that come on this show, they all want to move to the big cities. It looks all good and nice, but it is indeed expensive. Even the places that used to be the hood, Brooklyn, well, some hoods in Brooklyn, Queens, you name it, the Bronx. They're being gentrified. They're being gentrified. Like, you will not get value for money in New York. Everything costs a lot. Costs multiple times. And so he said, oh, wow, okay. I'm just considering that. And she got so angry because he said, it's just a suggestion. And she got so angry. She's like, you're not grateful for what my parents did. My parents paid a whole lease even. And all you can think about is this. You don't take steps for that. I'm irritated. They just got into a heated argument. And she got frustrated. And she even went as far to say that I'm not sure if we should even be getting married. Like she gets impatient very quickly. And I'm like, Ari, you made this decision. You people, in case you, for you people to work, you need like real, real counseling because the communication is just terrible, seriously. And she, she's not patient. Anyway, yeah. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like, share, hit the notification bell. Thank you once again. Bye-bye.